when 311 happened uh, in Tohoku, which is the northeastern part of Japan, it's an area most Japanese are not so familiar with. It's north and east of Tokyo. It's actually a very large area, geographically, mountain and beautiful sea coast. We connected with a local university, the Miyagi University, and we got together with their faculty, their students, uh, for information. They're on the ground every day from day one. But the second ambition was to really go into the community and actually seek opportunities where we could actually construct, however temporary, uh, a place that you could come out from your own unit, you could come out from your own unit and basically greet and meet your neighbors. We know that one of the next phases that will come up, uh, it would be a memorial place, not so much for tourism or outsiders, over the years, many years to come, hopefully children, grandchildren can memorialize it by inhabiting and leaving their own footprints. In a larger sense, is a question about how do we rethink, given this event that happened, issues about energy distribution, you know, issues about transportation, issues about even technology, can I, can I actually get in touch with you very easily? Um, how big these places should be, these villages, the depletion of population, uh, sort of the environment that's been actually abused, uh, timber that's not been forested. Japan's 80% timber, and it's been ignored by the steel industry, by the concrete industry, which was post-war progress. How do we actually maintain that? Which is a very different issue than just making, you know, the next house again so we can move back in the house. And part of the, the kind of irony or part of the reason why I think academicians have a role is to kind of question this not necessarily very welcome question to the central government, which is still heading on as if nothing changed, and saying, yeah, if there were 10,000 houses, let's make 10,000 houses. If there was a port there, let's make the port, and maybe protected by a seawall. Are we going back 50 years, or are we going forward 50 years? I would like to think that these little changes that are going on, that we're hopefully a part of, is also simultaneously asking this, this larger question. Um, otherwise, I mean, that's what motivates me, I think. That's what motivates Dick in Tokyo and Pat and CIS people who are involved. There are about six other faculty involved from, from here. Uh, I think we're, we're, we, we do have the ability to look at the big picture. Uh, but, you know, day to day we, we can also do small steps, very physical steps. So um, it's, it's kind of strange to say optimistic, but uh, I do think that we're gaining ground. Uh, at the end of year one, I, I have to obviously thank all the, the support that MIT has provided for the 311 initiative, all of the funding that CIS has been able to raise. Uh, it's, it's an amazing effort which I think is taking fruit.